This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. This is Ask the Aquaponics Guide. You've got the questions. He's got the answers. This is episode, I don't have a clue, but we're moving. So this is one thing I want to let you guys know. I keep telling you, you want your questions answered on Ask the Aquaponics Guide, send a video. Let me know what you want. Let me know you what you want answered. Um, and then the Aquaponics Guide is going to answer it. Now, I want to let you guys know that you better start sending them in soon because the channel is growing and videos are starting to come in. Pretty soon, it's going to be hard. Right now, you have your slots in there um, where your video will be answered um, if you send it over here to me. Um, but pretty soon, it's not going to be that way. It's going to be uh, uh, hundreds of videos coming in. Um, and then, you know, there's only so much time in the day. And there's only one Aquaponics Guide. Well, there's many Aquaponics Guide, but there's only one Aquaponics Guide that's doing this show. So, um... So we want to get them in right now. If you're worried about someone saying anything or any negative criticism or ne negative comments, don't worry about that. As soon as someone says something crazy, instant blockage. Understand me. Instant blockage. They can never write a comment again. Most of the people on the channel, most of the viewers are mature and respectful. So that's not something that you have to worry about. So if you're scared, go to church. Absolutely. So send your videos in. Um, and then that'll be taken care of. Now, let's get to the, 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 the video for today. Um, and this is, comes from Peter. Um, so let's go ahead and watch this video right now. Well, this is a, sort of a quick overview of where I'm at and where I'm going. So what you're looking at here is the carp. It's got wheels. It's a carp. The base you can see is made out of actual shipping pallets. There's the water reservoir and the stacks of vertical growth produce you can see some strawberries there are different plants in different stages of growth here this is not uh, where they're going to end up but you can see the water hoses there are individual pumps for each uh, of the stacks uh, over here is actually a light strip that I made with uh, plant uh, plant uh, growth specific media uh, I mean lights. I didn't turn it on now because he, you know, it, it gives it a strange glow to the video. I'll turn it on in a second. And then once I get the second bin and another three pipes coming down, uh, I have a curtain of mylar that goes around it. So when the lights come on, and I'll show you the light on now, you see what the, how bright it is. <clears throat> There are the lights, and it's in a quarter round, so it's actually angled. There are two strips of lights directed towards the plants. Uh, eventually, I'm thinking I'm gonna have a, like a triangle, three three sides, and I can have more LED strips along the 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 edges of the of the cart. They're very simple to install, very easy to run, very cheap to run. They provide some amount of heat, which is interesting uh, and sort of an unexpected benefit but it's not a lot so regular lighting I couldn't have regular lighting this close to a plant to kill the plant but with LED lighting uh, I can keep my distance with the mylar around it it will provide not only reflection of light but maintain heat so I could probably get this car running outdoors even in cooler weather 40 50 degrees and inside here it'd still be easily 60 70 because of the source of lighting I can add additional heaters but uh, I'm, I'm really going to experiment, you know, it's getting cooler now, uh, so I might be able to um, be trying this out soon with the Mylar. So uh, some of the things that are most obvious here is I, I don't have a filter yet. So what I was thinking of doing is putting in um, pond filter material, the same material that goes inside. Oh, as you can see, some plants can use cups, some plants went straight in and are just touching the, the, the pond filter inside, which runs the length of the pipe. Anyway, put pond filter material beneath it to both uh, act as a filter material and to sort of create some isolation between the pipes and, and the tanks. If I intend on growing fish in these tanks, I need to really rethink all this, you know, how what's the level of interaction between the pipes and the water tubs. This is a very simple setup now. All I've got in the tub is plant food that's feeding, let me uh, unplug the lights. 
So plant food, feeding the plants, and of course the lights to keep the plants happy. Uh, I'm, I'm already seeing amazing growth. These plants are super happy. Uh, I'm very excited about this. So uh, that's the basic idea. That's where I'm going. Uh, any suggestions, feedbacks, uh, that would be great. Uh, but yeah, I'm a farmer and I'm going to keep growing my farm. Thank you. Well, this is a sort of a quick overview of where I'm at and where I'm going. Okay, so now we have watched Peter's video. So the first thing I want to say is that this is a, a, a pretty good design. I like the design. I like the concept of it. It's compact um, and it, um, it's very simple and basic. Um, the one thing that I will say is that this setup type of this type of setup here is not something that is going to work for aquaponics. It's not going to be effective for aquaponics. It's more suitable for hydroponics, the compactness of it. Um, if you're going to add anything extra, if you're going to add fish to this type of system, you're going to have to expand the components and you're going to, that's when you're just going to start losing the compactness of this type of setup. You're going to have to add extra filters. It's just going to be more problematic for something this small and you're not going to be able to grow as much vegetables. You're going to have to squeeze a lot of fish in that small tank to even produce enough uh, nutrients to even uh, grow the amount of vegetables that you have in there. So it's just, it's not going to work. Um, or you're going to have a very hard time getting it, uh, getting it to work and the logistics of moving it around um, and, and, and just, um, just putting it together is going to be a lot more of a headache than the simple method you have here with the hydroponics. Also the clogging uh, with the fish uh, uh, waste, you're going to have to have proper filtration in there, not just something that is just thrown together. You have to have proper filtration that's put in there. Um, especially because you're going to be stocking at a higher density. So if I were you, I would just leave that entire setup uh, up to hydroponics. That is would be my take on that. I would not do anything um, um, like that on that type of scale with aquaponics. It's just not going to work. Um, also, the LED lights, that's a good, that's probably the only option that you have for that type of setup. As you mentioned, the LED lights uh, do not give off that much heat. Um, so you're able to grow at a close in close quarters, whereas other lights it would burn. It would it have a lot of heat stress on the plants. So we're going to avoid that. Um, so that's a good choice there. We just make sure that we have enough um, a lighting for the plants. And you're going to stick the mylar around there. Um, the only thing with the mylar is that um, in the summertime, of course, it's going to the heat is going to um, increase within there. Um, and also, you're going to have to have ventilation. You can't just grow plants. You know, cover the whole thing and not have any ventilation. They have to have they have to have ventilation going through. Or you're gonna have uh, all types of diseases um, and uh, bacteria that are growing in there. So uh, overall, you know, you're on the right path. It looks like a pretty good um, design that you have going on. It's um, it's mobile um, and you have it on wheels. I'm not sure what you want to do with it. I'm not sure. Well, you did say in the email. Let me see if I can find the email real quick. I think you said that that you wanted to use this and sell uh, systems because that would be a good idea. You know, I used to bring a system that I made. Um, I used to bring it to the farmer's market, just the um, the, the uh, hydroponic NFT component of it. I wish I had, I, I'm, if I find the pictures, I'll put it up. But I used to bring it there and all the time people would ask me, where can I get this system? And I, and I was planning originally to start building systems and then selling them because I was collecting email addresses. People were actually looking for it to the system. So um, it all would depend on where you're located at and if there's a market for it. I mean, you can make anything work. Any business concept could work. So I can never tell you that something is not going to work. It just depends on if you have the correct market for it. Um, where I'm at, there's a lot of older folks um, retired with a lot of money. So things like this, they're very interested in. They have extra time to put to play with things like this, and, and they, they, they enjoy uh, trying to eat healthy in the latter years. So it's a good um, uh, a market for that type of setup. I'm not sure exactly where you're at, um, but uh, it may be possible that it's a good market for you as well. So let's see what else you have on here. Um, what I mainly wanted to touch on is exactly what we're talking about, the business part of it. Um, you said in your email that you wanted to make um, you, your goal is to make $100,000 a year in gross income from this, uh, the home pro oh, so produce. So your main thing is that you want to sell home food boxes. Okay, so you want to sell the home food boxes. So this is an idea that I've seen people doing this. Um, so obviously there's a market behind it. Um, like I said, the only thing is you need to make sure that 
there's a market in your area behind it and you have proper marketing, you understand proper marketing to get this out. Um, if it is, then this could explode. You can have a, um, uh, you can have a good business uh, model ba based off of this, but you want to start small on this just like you're doing. Start small, start testing it out. See what people, how people are responding to, are, are responding to it. Start tweaking it a little bit, and then from there you can start scaling, um, and that would work. Um, this would not work over here in my area. Like I said, there's older folks here. A lot of times they don't want to, they don't want something just delivered to them. They want to come out. They want to come out. They have a lot more time on their hands. They want to come out, and they want to, they want to actually go to the market. They want to go to and show up to the the farm on site here. This is that's what they want to do. So. Um, this most likely would not work in this area, but if you're in somewhere where it's lazy, biscuit-headed people, well, they don't have to be biscuit-headed, but lazy people or busy people, then this is this will work. This will work. I don't see why this why this may not work um, if you're in an area where people respect fresh food and uh, food that's grown from farmers. Uh, what else do you want? Let me see what else you have on here. Um, uh, let's see. You said also you want it to have as a restaurant specialty produce. Okay, that's secondary. Fish for restaurants, you're gonna need, this system right here is not gonna work. You're gonna need bigger systems, um, not trying to grow fish in the compact areas like that. You're probably gonna need a lot, or unless you uh, connect them together, but these seem like these are individual modules. So um, to, to grow fish, you're gonna need a lot more um, for uh, to get contracts with that. Um, home focus aquaponic kits, that's what we talked about. That's a good plan. That's a good plan. There's a lot of profit that could be built in that if you do it right. Obviously, you're gonna have to get this system here. You're gonna have to get it, um, man. You're gonna want to look to get it manufactured and you know uh, make sure it doesn't look like it's a, a DIY build. Um, and then people will pay more money for that. Um, so that's something that I will look into doing. But it's uh, it's a good plan. Um, and you want to reach a monthly goal of 8k a month in six months. I mean, why not? Why not? I, I'm not here to tell you that you can't reach that. I, you can reach whatever you want to reach. Anything you want to reach, you can reach. You put your mind to it. It's good to shoot high and, um, and, and, and fall just a little bit short than to the, the kind of just shoot low and then fall low of that. You know, if you shoot high, it's going to make you work even that much higher. And if you come up to maybe 80K a month, I mean uh, 80K a year or maybe 6K a month or something like that, then you know what? That's something to work with. Um, and then you can just push forward from there, learn from your mistakes, and then find out what you need to adjust. So um, overall, man, I, it's a good thing. You know, it's a, still some work that needs to be put into it, um, especially on the business part. Remember, I keep telling people, if you're going to do aquaponics for profit or, or as a business, as an entrepreneur, you got to start thinking more in terms of business. And that's one thing that most people are going to struggle with is the marketing part, the marketing and the business part. That Everyone has a great idea. Everyone has a great idea, but when it's time to market it and time to find people to buy it, then that is where the problem comes in. So uh, you, it's uh, to me, I don't see that, that, that this is a bad idea or anything like that. Um, you just have to find a way to sell the product. When you find a way to sell it, then that's when we can scale up and you can work your way into some niche in your area and then you can crush it and take over that area. So hopefully this video helps you out. Um, Thank you again for sending the video in. I appreciate that. You're a longtime follower. Uh, we talked during Hurricane Irma, so I appreciate you for um, offering some help out during that time. Um, so thank you very much for your video. And anyone else who has videos, make sure you go ahead and send them in. You can either send them in on uh, my Instagram account or you can send them in to uh, my email. Um, but make sure you get those videos in. So I appreciate everyone for watching. This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Woo!